Hey guys, Chris from Smile here with another tips video. So today we're talking about refrigerant leaks. Now, when it comes to testing for a refrigerant leak, this is something that a technician is going to have to do. There's no way at home to figure it out, unfortunately, but there are a couple ways that you could figure out if you maybe do have a leak. Well, the most common one is that at the end of last summer, the AC was cool and no problem, but then you go to turn it on this year and you find that A, it's running 24 seven, or B, even though you're setting it to, we'll say 22 on the thermostat, it never quite reaches 22, 23 or 24 is where it caps out. This is a good indication of, okay, my AC clearly is not cooling 100%, which oftentimes can be just a, a little leak and you know, it's just running at a maximum capacity of 90 or whatever it can handle. Uh, so in this case that you're noticing something like this and think, okay, my AC might be leaking. You need to get us in here as soon as possible. We can check with our refrigerant gauges and we can see if, you know, relative to the outdoor weather that day, if our pressures all look good and if they're good, they're good. And if not, then we can see if the unit is in fact low on refrigerant and if it needs to be topped up.